Hello, my name's Aviva and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to recommend a couple of urban fantasy series. And if you're not familiar with what urban fantasy is, it's basically fantasy stuff that take place in our real world. So we're living our normal lives, there's humans, we're kind of familiar with the world, except there's magic woven into it in one way or another. So why I happen to love urban fantasies is because I feel like you really get everything you want from fantasy, like magic and magical beings and stuff like that. I mean, obviously every series is different, but you basically get that fantasy element, but you don't have to learn about a whole new world because it's taking place in our world. So I happen to think that it's a little bit more of like a relaxed fantasy thing that you get to read versus like high fantasy series. You have to learn like a whole new world and how things work and stuff like that. So anyway, I figured if you're not so down to start a high fantasy series, maybe you'll want to hear about a couple of really good urban fantasy series that I'm a big fan of. So anyway, let's just get straight into the books I wanted to recommend to you. So the first urban fantasy I wanted to recommend to you is actually an entire universe, and that is the Shadowhunter universe. So I'm holding up City of Bones, which is the first book in the Mortal Instruments series, which is the first series that came out from the universe. But this came out a long time ago over 10 years ago and now there are like four or five or maybe even more series in this universe it is an extremely popular series there are movies and tv shows that have been based off of the books and if you're not familiar with what this is about in super super short this is about demon hunting angel blessed warriors who basically protect humankind from demons and they hunt down and kill demons and they're blessed with you know specific powers they have a lot of magic Magical elements going on to them and this book is very heavily into like demons and angels and stuff like that but there's also vampires and fairies and different magical beings in this universe and there is a ton of fantasy in all of these books except happens to be it's all taking place in our universe and all of the fantasy elements are just like overlaid in our world and normal humans don't see any of this but if you have the special power to see everything that is going on then you get to be involved in all of the magical things in the world. Anyway, this is one of my favorite series of all time. I have made a ton of Shadowhunter content on my channel already. I have a How to Read the Shadowhunter Chronicles video, as well as a couple of reviews for some of the books in this world, as well as I just did a couple of ranking videos. So I went and I ranked all of the Shadowhunter books in the whole Shadowhunter universe, and I ranked them based off of like plot lines or romances or character crews and stuff like that. So if you're interested in watching any of those other videos, Videos, I'll make sure to link them all down below as well as like probably up on the screen. But either way, Shadowhunters, it's very popular. I would be surprised if you haven't heard of them before, but obviously not everyone has heard of everything. So I just wanted to recommend it. Also, let's just point out on a side note that all of these books have some really great romances in them. So if you're a fan of like romance fantasies, you should definitely check these series out. So the next series I wanted to show you is the Trial series by Amanda Hawking. And this is also another one of those series that fall into a larger world. There are two other series in this universe. This is called the Trial series. Then there's a second series that's called the Canon Chronicles. And then there is a third series that was just recently completed, and that's called the Omti Origin series. And I'm pretty sure that the whole world in general is called like the Omti world, but honestly, I could be wrong about that. So don't take my word for it. But either way, this is one of my favorite series of all time. I think I've read this at least five or six times. I really probably read it more than that. Either way, I absolutely love it. This is three books. The first book is Switched, the second is Torn, and the third is Ascent. And if you're not familiar with what this series is about, this is about a girl who finds out that she's a changeling and she was switched at birth with a human being and she is really the daughter to this fairy queen. Happens to be they're not fairies, they're called trolls in this book, but I would like you to think of them as fairies because sometimes you get like turned off by the word trolls. But anyway, she gets taken back to her queen mother and she finds out that she has all of these like crazy magical powers and she starts to learn how to use them because her family is kind of in the middle of a war with another fairy
Harry King, and there's a lot of war in this book, there's a lot of romance, there's a lot of magical powers, but happens to be one of my favorite parts of this series is the world. Because first of all, you're living in this real world, and you find out that like in the middle of like Michigan or something, in the middle of like the woods, there's this whole like fairy troll community, and they're living in secret, and the way that it's like enveloped with our world, the whole fantasy element is very cool in my opinion. And I don't really want to like give anything away, so all I'm going to say is that this is a great fantasy series if you're into fairies, if you're into romances, and if you're into just like a good YA fantasy series. I just, I have nothing bad to say about this series, and I really, really, really recommend you reading it if it sounds like it's something up your alley. So the next series I wanted to recommend to you is actually an adult urban fantasy series, and that is A Discovery of Witches, and it includes three books. It's A Discovery of Witches, Shadow of Night, and The Book of Life. And if you have never heard about this series, first, let me just tell you that happens to be there is a TV show adaption about this series and two of the three series are currently out. I've watched all of them. Happens to be I really enjoyed the series because I liked seeing like all the characters come to life, but I have to say that the books were so much better. So if you wanted to watch the TV show, I recommend reading the books first. And if you're not familiar with what the book is about, it's basically about demons, witches, and vampires all living in our real world. They all look normal. You can't tell the difference between like a human and a witch except some people are vampires and they live forever and they drink blood some people are witches and they have magical powers and there's some demons where they're just considered demons either way they're all living in secret and over time demons witches and vampires have been slowly dying off so one of the main characters who's a vampire has been trying to figure this out for a long time and the main girl who's a witch she's not very familiar with her powers anyway they cross paths because they both work at Oxford Oxford as professors and basically they team up to try to figure out what is going on with their species and why have they slowly been dying off over time. But happens to be that is a very like broad synopsis for the series. That's just like kind of what goes on. But happens to be this series has been said that it's very much like Twilight for adults because I mean there's a romance that has to do with a vampire. Happens to be this is very high on the romance and I really really enjoyed it for that aspect. The person who wrote the book happens to be like an alchemist or a historian or something like that. So you really see a lot of her natural knowledge come into the book. So it's very adultly written. And I happen to really much have enjoyed that aspect of it. I kind of felt really smart reading it. But either way, I really enjoyed this series. It is an adult book besides for the content, the way it's written. And you know, it's very academia. It's very vampire, witches, magic, all of that sort of stuff. And this book really goes places. And if I've somehow made you interested in reading this book based off the bad synopsis that I tried to tell you, then I really recommend reading it because it is much better than however horribly I just tried to explain it to you guys. And really, it's just, it's an amazing book and I recommend reading it. So the next series I wanted to recommend is the Raven Cycle series. And you might have seen this series before because it happens to be, it is really big on booktube and bookstagram. But anyway, I originally picked it up because I saw a lot of good recommendations for it and happens to be, I was a huge fan of this series. So happens to be the series is about like a bunch of guys who befriend this girl and they go on this like crazy adventure. I don't even like want to get into it because this book goes like way in many places. But the overall arching story is that this one guy wanted to try to find this like dead lost king. And I believe if they like found the king, then they get like granted a wish or something like that. So anyway, they just go on this like really fun adventure trying to find this dead king. But what's really amazing about this series isn't necessarily the magic, even though there's a lot of good magical things in this series. There's like a psychic and there is like this magical forest that they find and a lot of really cool magical things. I mean, obviously, besides for the magical king that they're trying to track down, who will give them this like one of a kind wish. But either way, what's really amazing about this series is the friendship. There's this group of kids that are going on this adventure. And what I really loved about it is seeing their friendship. They're like the best little crew. There is a little romance that goes on, but that's like the smallest part of the series. What's really amazing is all of the characters in this series. This is very like highly character driven besides for like all of the fantasy, which is really a big plot line as well. This book is just great because of the characters. You're going to fall in love with all of them for different reasons. They're all like amazing in their own way. And the way that their friendship is like they're all friends for different reasons, but like as a group, they're friends as well. And just overall, 
overall, this series was amazing. I really recommend it. I feel like I'm not really explaining it correctly, but if you have ever heard of this series and you were somewhat intrigued, I'm going to be another person to tell you that I definitely recommend reading it because it was amazing. Also on a side note, I wanted to say that this series is amazing if you're a little bit of a younger YA reader. I know that there's a couple of people on my channel who are like 13 or 14 versus like I'm like 24, so I read a lot of adult and YA, but for people who are like a little bit younger, this series should definitely be put on your TBR because it was really good. And for a younger audience, I think that this is an amazing, amazing series. So the next series I wanted to recommend to you is the Shadow Fall series by CC Hunter. And this is a collection of five books about a girl who goes to this like supernatural summer camp. She basically can talk to ghosts. And in this summer camp, there's a bunch of kids her age that all have different things going on. So like one's a vampire, one's a werewolf there are witches and people who just have like magical weird things going on and either way you're kind of following her throughout her summer camp adventure and you know she's dealing with this thing about talking to ghosts and there's a really large plot line that honestly I kind of forgot because I haven't read this series in a really long time but I do remember absolutely loving this series and this is on my like list of books that I want to reread but either way this is a great young adult fantasy that all I remember from it was being like really good like magical element wise as well as it was really fun because you get to like see a lot of characters that are all like friends in the summer camp they all have different things going on because like I said one's a vampire one talks to ghosts one's a werewolf and I believe that there is a like love triangle in this book if not just a really good romance with a werewolf but I'm pretty sure there was like another guy that comes in to the story and there's some sort of triangle going on and I remember really enjoying the romance aspect from this series but either way, this is a great young adult fantasy series. So for really anybody who is into urban fantasies, fantasies, anything like along the line of magic, I recommend reading this series. So the last series I wanted to recommend is the Percy Jackson series. And the reason I put this last is because I have read all of the other series that I've recommended so far. So I'm like very confident in recommending them, but I have not read the Percy Jackson series yet, but I do know what it's about because I've seen the movie. If you're not familiar, Percy Jackson is about this boy named Percy who is half God, half human. And it starts out where he goes to this summer camp full of demigods and the story kind of goes from there where you're dealing with a lot of like Greek mythology and gods and all of that sort of stuff. It's a very popular like talked about world so I'm very confident that like you know you guys know what I'm talking about when I say Percy Jackson but either way I haven't read this series yet because first of all the original series which I believe it's called The Lightning Thief or something like that is middle grade and I've tried reading middle grade before as an adult and I kind of have a hard time with it but what I've heard is that if you could get through the middle grade you'll really enjoy the rest of the series because they turn into young adult but either way I have kind of just been pushing this whole universe off for a while because I know that once I read the original series I'm gonna want to go and read all of the other Rick Riordan Percy Jackson series right after it and I'm just not ready to commit to like a month's worth of Rick Riordan reading so I've been pushing it off but I'm kind of like confident in recommending that you read this if you're into urban fantasy especially if you're into reading middle grade or YA because obviously this series starts out in middle grade but either way I just wanted to add this onto this list because it is an urban fantasy and I know that it is extremely popular and it has amazing recommendations I haven't really heard anybody like bash the Percy Jackson series so I figured I can feel confident enough in recommending it even though I haven't actually read them yet myself so anyway, that is all of the urban fantasy series that I wanted to recommend to you guys. So I'm curious to know if you've read any of them before and if you did, what you thought about them, or if you plan to add any of the series I just recommended to your TBR. I love chatting with you guys. I love talking about books. So feel free to leave me a comment down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. It will definitely put a smile on my face and make me super happy. But either way, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I I appreciate all of you and until next time enjoy reading. Yeah.